After making this video, I fully believe that the secret to Iceland's power boom and renewable energy isn't geothermal, it's actually Sporticus himself. Let's look at the numbers. To do this, we're going to go back to my last video where I looked at Sporticus saving Santa from free fall by stopping his sleigh in half a second, but I excluded the weight of the gifts in Santa's sleigh. Now, if we were to include them, he has gifts on his sleigh for all of the children under 18, of which there are roughly 2.4 billion on Earth right now. I'm not sure what every child wants for Christmas, so we're going to assume that they all want what I want, which is a family-sized can of Campbell's tomato soup, roughly 23 ounces or 660 grams, one of these for each of the 2.4 billion children on Earth. That's what's on Santa's sleigh. Now, 2.4 billion cans of tomato soup weigh about 1.6 million metric tons. That's a lot. And since Santa is magical, I think he's using some sort of black hole technology to squeeze them really small and make the gifts not take up space on his sleigh, because clearly you can't see them in the picture. But they're there, okay? They're there taking up mass. That's what's important. So let's account for that and plug that new mass into our equation for terminal velocity, since that's how fast the sleigh is going now. Uh, that's going to give us from 300 meters per second originally, or about 660 miles per hour, we go to 735,000 meters per second, roughly 1.6 million miles per hour and about 1 400th of the speed of light. That's how fast Santa Slay is going in free fall. Uh, I, I think he'd be dead going that fast, but it's okay. Him and Sporticus are both immortal. Now that we have the speed of the sleigh in free fall and the amount that it weighs, we can actually use a formula for kinetic energy, one half mv squared, where m is mass and v is the velocity. We can use that to figure out how much energy it takes to slow down that sleigh to a standstill like Sporticus did. And if we plug in that number, it is absolutely insane. Okay, so we get 431 quintillion joules of energy to stop Santa's sleigh carrying all of those presents for every child on Earth. That's the equivalent of a 103,000 megaton explosion, or about 2,060 times as strong as the strongest nuclear detonation that has ever happened on Earth, Sarbamba, which was only 50 megatons. This would probably destroy a large portion of the Earth if it were to happen. But like I said at the beginning, he is not only a superhero and a super nice guy, he is also the Simone Biles of energy production. He's on another level, okay? If we found a way to harness the energy produced by Sporticus, which I'm sure Iceland has figured out already, judging by their electricity prices, then him doing the equivalent of saving Santa out of the air generates 119 trillion kilowatt hours of power. When Stephanie from Lazy Town sings that it's a piece of cake to bake a pretty cake, she's singing about Sporticus being able to bake 60 trillion of them, or at least provide the energy to, instantaneously with a single jump. It's about two kilowatt hours to bake a cake, if you're wondering. Look, where I live, it's about 20 cents per kilowatt hour of electricity, and Sporticus generated 119 trillion of those by grabbing Santa out of the air. I'm telling you, we need to harness his power because that would generate $24 trillion by him saving Santa. That is like instantaneously wiping out two thirds of the US national debt if we were to harness and sell that power at market prices. If he were to do that four times, he would be generating roughly equivalent to the GDP of the entire planet in electrical power. I'm telling you, it's time to switch from fossil fuels to fjordic fuels. Don't forget to follow. Hi, Matt. I'm Matt, by the way.